happy 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 wednesday so i just wanted to share this real quick because um i encountered this situation and us as black people we need to have financial intelligence like it is so important and so a lot of times people are wasting their energy on watching tv going out drinking and mingling and all those good things but we are not financially literate and so it's important to be financially literate because that's what's going to free you. That's what's going to allow you to be able to have financial freedom. If you're building a legacy, these are the things that are important. And so just like if you're an entrepreneur or if you create something, you are learning and constantly, if you're in college, if you're in school, if you're a doctor, you're constantly learning all the things that you need to learn to be better in that field. Financially, that's something that is going to be a part of our lives for the rest of our lives. So we have to make sure that we're learning as much as we can learn. We got to make sure that we're not afraid of trying new things. And if you're stuck in a, a certain situation, you need to understand that you are stuck there because you keep making the same choices daily. So you want to learn. You want to research. You want to talk to people. You want to join focus groups. You want to take courses classes or whatever you can do that can advance your knowledge in the financial world so i'll give you an example um i went to school for mortuary science and mortuary science they teach us how to open up our funeral home how to run our finances and manage and how to basically operate a business all by yourself as the mortician and so then i took financial classes i wanted to become a budget analyst and i always saved money but i realized saving money wasn't going to help me create the legacy that i wanted to create so i had to start choosing different type of investments interest rates are very important are you getting the best interest rate is it one percent is it ten percent is eleven percent purchasing homes selling homes uh refinancing homes inheriting homes all of these things are important for us to understand you know, buying a car straight out, you know, so you can avoid paying interest rates. You know, if you are a good saver, I encourage you to save your money and purchase a car so you don't have to pay interest rates. Going through your credit union versus going through uh, the car, uh, the car dealerships uh, loan people or whatever, because their interest rates are super high. And so these are the things that you want to educate yourself on. And I want you to understand that in any transaction, business transaction, purchase, or anything that you are doing, it's okay to shop around. It's okay to shop around to see what are the possibilities, what are the interest rates, what can you get, what do you qualify for, and you do not have to jump on the first option. Weigh your options of what works best with your lifestyle. And so here's the thing, refinancing. If you're going to refinance your home, are you pulling money out or are you just refinancing it to refinance it? Because if you're refinancing it, is it going to run your interest rate up? We have to understand some of the things that we can do on our own. If you're dealing with probate, you know what I mean? You can do quick claim uh, deeds, you know what I mean? And you can also make sure your parents get your property, the property they want to inherit to you. You can also get that in your name so you can avoid probate, probate taxes. So these are all things that we want to uh, research and understand and get a better, better knowledge is. Every day if you're working, your parent ARS, I mean IRS, they're taking money out of your check. And a lot of times they're taking so much money out of your check I encourage you today to look at how much money that they're taking out of your check. And the question is, is is that if you look at your last year's return and your prior year return and this year's it just pays return, see how much they took out of your check and see how much you got in returns. Because the thing about it is sometimes they give you returns, but they don't give you all that money that they took out of your taxes. So there are a lot of people who do not allow uh, the IRS to take taxes out of their check. They pay them at the end of the year. They save the money and they pay them themselves. So we are smart. We are responsible. But a lot of things that you would have to question yourself about of why are you automatically doing these things? Have you ever tried to do it another way? 
Are you capable capable of paying the bill on your own? Do you want to use your money all through the year and just pay them a check later, just like all the other bills that you do? So you can eliminate them taking all of your money. And so these are things that we need to ask ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Is renting a $2,200 three bedroom feasible or should you purchase a home that you can get a mortgage for $1,500 three levels and you can be able to claim that on your taxes at the end of the year. So we wanna look at our lifestyles and understand how it benefits us. If you have a business or you want to have a business, is your lifestyle something that you are able to sell and monetize off of to other people? Are your clothes dope? Can you sell it to other people? And can you write these things off that are now your your business, which was your lifestyle, now you're an entrepreneur, now you can write these things off? So I just want you all to, I don't want to go all into it because I'm still sick, you know, but I just want you all to think about it. Like really think about how you can be financially literate so you can be able to make the best business decisions, financial decisions, personal decisions, excuse me, to help you in your legacy so you can create, so you can stop struggling, so you can get a tax benefit, and so you can live a better life. I hope you all have a beautiful day. I wish you peace, love, and happiness. I'm about to go get back in my bed because I have been feeling sick. So take care of yourself. Make sure you take care of yourself to the best of your ability. I believe COVID is out here in these streets again, y'all. But make sure you take care of yourself, mask up, whatever you want to do, sanitize. And take care of yourself and be good. Have a beautiful day.